Hey everyone, welcome back to Clear the Air. I'm Michelle and today we're going to uncomplicate the process of air filter ratings. We're talking MERV, FPR, and MPR. If you've searched this topic before, I'm sure you've seen the charts and the diagrams. But what do they really mean when it comes to finding the perfect air filter? Let's break it down in the simplest way possible so you can find your filter fit. Air filters are your first line of defense in maintaining a healthy home. But with so many options, how do you pick the right one? That's where MERV, FPR, and MPR come in. These are all different ways to describe how effective an air filter is and what the filter was designed for. MERV ratings were developed by the smart people over at the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers. Now try saying that three times fast. The MERV rating system is a system that's most commonly used by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. MERV ratings go from 1 to 16. The higher the number, the smaller the particles it can catch. So a MERV 1 to 4 filter is good for catching things like dust bunnies and pollen. A MERV 5 to 8 can catch mold spores and dust mites. And if you're really serious, a MERV 13 to 16 filter can even trap some bacteria and viruses. Next, we have FPR, which stands for Filter Performance Rating. This one's brought to you by the Home Depot and only applies to air filters sold by the Home Depot. FPR ratings are super user-friendly, ranging from 1 to 10 and color-coded. Green for yeah, it'll do, red and purple for give me more, and black for this thing catches everything. It's less technical than MERV, but great for a quick decision. MPR ratings range from 300 to 2200. The higher the number, the better it is at catching particles. Let's check it out, along with comparisons to the other two rating systems. MPR 600 filters can capture dust, lint, debris from dust mites, pollen, and mold spores. This is similar to MERV rating 8 and FPR 5. MERV rating 1000 to 1200 can capture all this as well as dander, smoke and smog, and is similar to MERV rating 11 and FPR 7. MERV rating 1500 through 1900 have the ability to capture some of the trickiest particles, including those from bacteria and viruses. This is similar to MERV rating 13 and FPR 10. Most HVAC techs will recommend at least a MERV 8. So to recap, if you're looking for basic filtration of lint, dust, pollen and mold spores, choose MERV 8, MPR 600, or FPR 5. If you're looking for filtration of pet dander, smoke and smog, choose MERV 11, MPR 1000 through 1200, and FPR 7. If you're looking for filtration of bacteria and viruses, or you have extreme allergies, choose MERV 13, MPR 1500 through 1900, or FPR 10. And that's it. I hope this video helped clear up the differences between MERV, FPR, and MPR ratings. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.